biting, kicking, and spitting on first responders. New police lapel shows the moments authorities finally took an Albuquerque man into custody for battery and assault on a peace officer. Here's News 13's Courtney Allen. Courtney. Jackie, officers responded to a call of two men arguing, which later led to Daniel Nowakowski getting stabbed by someone described as a friend. But the situation only escalated when first responders tried getting him help. Come on! Come on! Stop. Daniel Nowakowski is seen wrestling with police at Loveless Hospital. No, Arrest me then! Arrest me then! Arrest me then! Come on! Even kicking officers. Come on! It all started at his Albuquerque home near 8th and Bridge in late July. According to the criminal complaint, Nowakowski put up a fight when first responders tried to get him help for a stab wound. You assaulted that paramedic, you assaulted that firefighter, and you assaulted me. You assaulted three different people today. At the hospital, Nowakowski threatened to sue if he was not let out of his handcuffs. If you don't, you are going to have a lawsuit like you wouldn't leave. Even saying he would rather die than get medical treatment. I bleed out, then I die. That's, that's not Do you know what a real man is? Do you know what life is? Do you know what kids are? Do you know how to... Do you know what God is? Officers uncuffed his stabbed hand to treat it. Let go! Let go! Right now! Left hand cuff off. Stop! But he was uncooperative with hospital workers. You got stabbed, and you're aggressive, and you're mad, and you're pissed off. Uh-huh. Would I expect anybody to do a favor for me? Absolutely not. Well, then, shut up. Police say Nowakowski then bit and spat at them. You're not getting charged with a felony. Congratulations. Thanks for buying Thank you! You know what? I'm already a f felon! Noah Kowski was charged in this case with two counts of battery on a peace officer and two charges of assault on an officer. Jackie, back to you. Okay, thanks, Courtney. Noah Kowski has a criminal record dating back to 2003 that includes felony sexual offenses and aggravated battery.